the University of Washington Tacoma, we decided to investigate Commencement Bay's role as a catch-all for the Puyallup watershed area. To do that, we worked with Taryn Todd and Citizens for a Healthy Bay to see what happens when water flows into the bay. So a lot of people don't realize that Commencement Bay and its waterways are um, kind of the ending point of the watershed. The Puyallup watershed starts at Mount Rainier, comes down through the valleys, comes through Horting and Buckley and Bonnie Lake. And it all ends up here in Commencement Bay and Puget Sound and the Salish Sea. And uh, so when your car's leaking and, and you're up the up the valley somewhere, let's say you're in Ording, you know, that goes down the storm drain and, and ultimately ends up down here in Tacoma in Commencement Bay. Uh, it's all connected. All is affected from, from everything upstream. Tacoma's Commencement Bay is home to a variety of thriving industries. I wouldn't fish in any of the waterways. Um, all of the waterways still have outfalls, like what I'm going to show you here in a second. So you're getting run off from the streets, and what's in that? Um, you know, you got brake dust, and you got uh, the chemicals from, from cars. You got people washing their cars. You might have um, septic systems that aren't working properly, and so they're dumping, you know, possibly sewage. There, there's all kinds of different things. You've got motors here that may not be pumping out when they're supposed to, instead dumping in the waterway. So I would not eat anything out of the waterways directly. The Puyallup River flows directly into Commencement Bay, bringing pollutants like phosphates, nitrates, fecal coliform, oil, and grease along with it. To prevent that kind of non-point source pollution, uh, people can do a variety of things. One, they can fix their car so they don't leak, and uh, the antifreeze and the oil and the grease doesn't get on the street. Uh, they can stop putting so much fertilizer on their lawns, they don't need to. There's healthier ways that they can manage their lawns and still have them look good. Um, they can wash their cars on their lawn instead of on the street or take them to a car wash where they recycle the water and it eventually gets treated at a wastewater treatment plant. Um, and then they can pick up their pet waste so that it doesn't get washed into the streams and into the river and into the bay. So it's simple things. and. We've found uh, that once you tell people those things and, and give them alternatives, most people will do that. And so gradually I think things are getting better and we just need to have everybody get that message. Although the health of Commencement Bay has improved due to efforts by organizations such as Citizens for a Healthy Bay, it is important to continue monitoring and maintaining surrounding waterways.